Hey everyone, and here's my Nintendo 3DS game collection. I'll be doing a top uh, 10 Nintendo 3DS games of 2011 uh, in probably a week or so. I still have to finish off a couple of games, but um, <laughs> yeah, my uh, Nintendo 3DS game collection. I already have 19 games for the 3DS, which is uh, <laughs> kind of a lot of games. I really got to slow down on buying my games because I buy way too many games. And uh, let's just get started with the collection. This is an order from what I think I bought them. So uh, first off here we have Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Um, lately I've been trying to get into genres of games I'm not usually into. Like I have played fighting games and stuff but I'm not really into these kind of fighters too much but I've been trying to play them a lot more and I'm enjoying them. You know this was a really good fighter. Um, you know it was a really great uh, launch title for the 3DS. Probably one of the better ones too. Next here is a Steel Diver. Um, I was really excited for this game, and it was, I was pretty happy with it, but, you know, just too short, and, uh, you know, the lasting appeal with it just wasn't there for me. Uh, it is a pretty good game, but, uh, don't pay 40 bucks for it like I did, you know, if you, apparently you can see it up there for 10 bucks now, that's definitely worth the buy there, but, uh, it's definitely a interesting game. Ridge Racer 3D, uh, probably the second best racer on the 3DS right now and uh, it is a very good racer some uh, nice 3D visuals in it uh, no no slowdown really and um, you know it's just a well made uh, game just sucks that they uh, missed out on some of the modes that they should have put in this game next tier Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars one of the best games for the 3DS and probably the best game at launch for the 3DS uh, it's an extremely well made turn based strategy game uh, if you guys know Fire Emblem, this is basically like a war one like that, and uh, it works really well. Very happy with this game. Very happy with that. One of the better games probably of the year, actually. It's really a really fantastic game. Dead or Alive Dimensions, probably my favorite fighting game. Pro yeah, probably one of my favorite fighting games I've ever played. Uh, the best fighter on the 3DS so far, and uh, just extremely well made. The online works great. Everything just works really well with this. has online, has all that collectibles, 3D photos of all these fucking tits and sh and stuff like that, and, you know, it's just a really well-made fighter. Shin Megami Tensei Double Survivor Overclock, one of the best RPGs of this generation. Uh, absolutely fantastic game. I didn't get it for the original DS, got this game. The voice acting is great in it. All that, you know, all the additions are great. It just kind of sucks that they didn't u uh, utilize a 3D really in this game at all. They, like, they did for some, like, cutscenes and stuff, but that's pretty much it. You know, they didn't do too much for it, but, um, still one of the best RPGs of the generation by far. I cannot wait for Devil Survivor 2. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, it's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I really don't care about talking too much about it. Uh, 3D worked great in it. Uh, updated visuals were nice. Uh, new controls were really good as well. You know, just a, pretty much a perfect, uh, or remake, whatever you want to call it. Lego Star Wars 3. I loved the original first two Lego Star Wars games, and uh, this one wasn't didn't feel the same, but it still was a pretty good game. I had fun with it. Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. Yes, a lot of you guys hate Capcom for whatever. They split this up in another game, but it is a very good game. Uh, it really gets me excited for Revelations. Uh, the online mode in this works really great as well. It'd be pretty cool if some of you guys got this. We played online. Well, I have some people that have it, but yeah. Dream Trigger 3D, uh, fantastic shooter, extremely addictive, uh, very steep learning curve at the start. A lot of people will give up, especially a lot of the new generation kind of gamers. Don't even dare buy this game because you won't get your ass kicked. Like when I first started playing, I got my ass kicked like within five seconds of playing it. Just literally, I'm just done already. But uh. I played it, I, you know, I stuck with it a good 20 minutes later. I was uh, playing this game like a pro and uh, never looked back. It's a fantastic game. Uh, it's cheap now, too, so really this is a must-buy. Star Fox 64 3D, uh, a, really a perfect remake. It, kind of, it really did a fantastic job. The 3D looks amazing in this game. It works well with the gameplay. It adds a lot to it, uh, you know only problem was why didn't they not do online modes here like right now they really should be sticking to their online because online for the 3ds right now is really working well all the internet kind of stuff like that you know just they really should have put it in this game not have it just local that's bullshit 
Need for Speed, the run 3DS, the best uh, racing game on the 3DS. I don't know why reviewers are giving this game a bad rating. It has like it has all the modes you would expect from a racer, and it's just a fantastic <laughs> racer. It was a little bit uh, slow towards the start of the game, but it did get faster and better throughout the game. But really, it's like oh, it's pretty much a perfect racer, what you'd expect from any racer. Shinobi for the 3DS, one of the hardest games of generation, I'd say. Uh, it's not like it's not completely brutal, but like it is a pretty tough game to try to go through and beat, and uh, a really fun platform. I, again, I don't know why people gave this game a bad rating. It was a very good game. It had me playing it for hours and hours and hours. Like I'd be up throughout the night still playing this game just because I want to beat this level, just because I want to go through a couple levels in this game, you know? It was a very well-made, good game. Uh, the 3D wasn't that great in it, like, you know, there was some ghosting and stuff at the times, but it was a very solid game. Super Mario 3D Land, one of the best games on 3DS, and one of the main reasons why people buy 3DS now. One of my favorite uh, Mario games ever made. Uh, it was a little easy compared to other Mario games at the start, but yes, it did ramp up difficulty, and yes, it got to the high difficulty that Mario games have after you uh, beat the original story. Great game. The only game that I haven't played yet out of all the games is Harvest Moon 3D, uh, Tale of Two Towns, and um, I'm not going to be playing this until I beat this one other game I'm playing right now, because whenever I play a Harvest Moon game, I just want to focus on that game and just play that, but I'm really excited to play this. Mario Kart 7, uh, I didn't like it as much as a lot of you guys do, uh, it's a really great racer, probably the best Mario Kart that's ever been made, um, but, you know, just, I, I had played a lot of games, you know, I couldn't, like, invest, uh, 25 hours into the game, you know, I played probably a good, I'd say, 15, 20, uh, online works great, online is, like, flawless, there's no lag at all, I, like, it's, it's unbelievable, online works amazing for this game, uh, just, you know, pretty much everything that you want in the Mario Kart game is almost perfected here. Nano Assault. Uh, one of my favorite shooters, probably. Uh, not the best or anything. It's not as good as Super Stardust, say, for PS3, but uh, this is close to Super Stardust, and it has some different Star Fox kind of, you know, Star Fox levels and stuff, but uh, I did a review for this, so guys, go check it out. I didn't do a review for this, Sonic Generations, but, uh, I probably won't do a review, actually, but, um, it is a pretty good Sonic game. It's not, it's probably my second favorite, actually, out of, like, the last ten years. Um, it's not nearly as good as Sonic Colors, and it's not nearly as good as Sonic Generations on the consoles. Like, well, actually, I don't know, it depends on your preference. Uh, I do like some 3D stages in Sonic levels and stuff, but uh, this is just all 2D stages, and a lot of people, actually, a lot of the big veteran Sonic fans should probably love this game more. But, um, just, you know, just everything seemed a little bit, like, just stripped down to be on the 3DS. They shouldn't have really done that. Um, I was very pleased with it, though. It has online mode, has, like, hundreds of collectibles. You know, it was... Really, it's like one of the best Sonic games ever made, I'd say. But uh, still just kind of disappointing that not everything was put in the 3DS version. And the last game here that I'm playing right now is Dr. Lawtrek and the Forgotten Knights. And uh, this is a pretty good game right now. I do have some complaints about it so far, but uh, I'm not nearly close to done yet. So I'll be finishing this, and as soon as I finish this game, I'll probably have a top 10. And uh, it sucks that Harvest Moon won't be in the top 10, but... It'll be the top 10 of those other 18 uh, games that I have. There it is, guys. There's my uh, collection of 19 3DS games already. 2012, I'm going to be spending a lot of money. I'm I'm picturing myself to be having over 40 DS games by the end of 2012. But um, there it is, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Yeah.